This one's going to be, um, it's another sensitivity drill, energy drill, etc. cetera, training your feel. Um, it's going to be a matched arm drill, okay? So I'm going to have Patricia get into a right lead, and I'm going to go as a feeder, I'm going to go right arm, all right? And so the, the, the start point of the drill is, it's a simple clash point drill. Uh, think of your reference training, uh, clash point, touch point, where you start here and you move through your trapping. Think of that. So we're going to start there, okay? Now ultimately, you want your eyes closed. Uh, but she's going to keep them open for now. Keep that in mind though, you want your eyes closed because if your eyes are open, you're using your vision to see stuff and that's going to take away from your ability to pick up on, on changes in motion. Okay? So we have three different elements to the drill you're going to feed with. One, the most important, I'm just going to take my hand and pull it back and she's going to hit forward. So think forward pressure, think of going forward. That's the main thing she wants to do. We should all want to do. It's just we always want to go forward until something or someone stops us. So this clash point, the moment I pull back, she goes forward. It's like if you pull a rubber band back and you were about to let it go. Like that tension in the rubber band, it just wants to take off. I should feel that from her arm, her hand. It's not. It's not stiffness, it's not a handle, it's just a forwardness and, and, and a desire to go forward. So I should feel that from her. So as soon as I draw back, she goes forward like she couldn't even choose not to. That's what we want, all right? That's the first one. And you can feed that with broken rhythm so it's unpredictable, okay? At any given moment, you can kind of move your arm a little bit, subtle motion. See my subtle motions right now as a feeder? and then I pull away and she's forward, all right? The next one, same deal. Idle time is the same. She shouldn't know what's coming. But this time, instead of drawing back, I'm gonna take my arm and I'm gonna move at her with a heavy handle as if I was trying to attack the lead side of the body, maybe a takedown attempt, um, something like that, toward her right hip and rib cage. And as I do so, she will lops out, okay? That's the size of that one. Okay, so you see, let's back up a little bit. So I'm moving toward the lead side of the body and she's gonna lop sow the limb and strike. So the strike's important, but also the lop sow is arguably more important because it keeps my limb off her body, off her base, off the line. Therefore making me as the opponent work harder to get into her base with whatever attack or movement I wanna make, okay? So that's the second element, the second feed, is I'm gonna take the hand from the idle position and move it so clearly toward her, and she learns, okay, lop sow, get the limb, control the limb, get it off the line, get his body weight off the line, and of course, strike, all right? So that's the, the third one is the easy one, and that's where you're gonna have the same idle time, right? And instead of going forward, and instead of pulling back, I'm gonna go beyond her center line for cross energy, right? So she feels the limb being moved very clearly, very concisely beyond center line. She dissolves, redirects, whatever term works for you, and takes the hit and the lops out. All right, so all three of those will be done totally sporadically. So we'd be, let's go close the eyes now, okay. So her eyes are closed. Don't try to be, don't worry about it, don't, don't worry about being right. It's about reacting accordingly. So I'm gonna give her any of those three elements anytime, right? So if I pull back, there we go, she hits. She goes forward, our favorite thing to do, by far our favorite thing to do. And then I come back and I give her some idle time and maybe I give her another feed, maybe I do it again. I pull back so she has to go forward, okay? Come back, a little bit of motion and give her a feed. Okay, there was cross energy, it was clear, right? She fit, she, 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 um, she fit in with it. Let me come back, the idle time, a little bit of motion, and I give her a feed. There you go, another forward one, forward pressure. Let me come back, and she always sticks with me. That's the thing. You wanna be sticking with the opponent, right? Not stiff, but smothering. Okay, and then maybe I give her the, the lopsal opportunity coming at her base, all right? So as a feeder, 
constantly change up what you do because your partner needs that kind of chaos, even in a simple drill like that. All right, stay safe, y'all, and we'll talk to you soon.